I'm Sue McCorkendale. Um, I was born in Kidderminster and brought up there. Um, I then went to university, Southampton University, and read social sciences, which was the, all the rage in the 1960s. Um, after leaving university, I then went as for my first job at Joseph Lucas, which is a car components company in Birmingham, where I was a personal officer, which I loved. I worked on the shop floor and it was brilliant. And that's where I met my husband, Doug. For a short time after that, I did some social work at the orthopedic hospital in Birmingham. And then I had my first, our first daughter, Katie, um, I, I was a full-time mum for a while. My husband eventually got a job in South Africa as an engineer, and we joined him as a family um, on the mines um, out in the wilds, hot place to live, um, and there, where, where we had our second child, a daughter, another daughter, Alex, in Johannesburg. We eventually came back to Britain in 1987, where I started my career, if you like, my second career working in the field of disability. I worked for a disability organization for 16 years, where I worked with and for disabled people, uh, giving information, eventually running self-development courses for them. And a very important part of the work, as it was the period of the new anti-discrimination legislation for disabled people, I promoted this, removing the barriers, making life inclusive for disabled people with com big, large companies sometimes um, and organizations telling them how they could comply with this legislation. This work finished in 2005 when I was able to continue self-employed, um, doing the same sort of work, training, but also a new phase of my life was working in schools in Birmingham promoting inclusion for disabled children in mainstream schools. Very interesting. Um, I've retired now for a couple of years, as is my husband, but I still continue this work as a volunteer at a special school where I'm a governor and with a, um, a respite home for disabled children in Solihull. Well, I'm passionate about inclusion and participation by and for disabled people. Um, I think up to about 20 years ago, um, disabled people had a raw deal. People expected little of them. They weren't included in general life. But I think past, possibly because of the legislation and some of the work that myself and my colleagues have done, we have changed the lives of disabled people, particularly young disabled people now. Uh, and I'm very, it's very important that disabled people have the same chances, opportunities and joys in life that people who are not disabled have. Well, as a disabled person myself, I would say go for it. Go for all the opportunities that you're now being given in society. Um, so take the support that's there and go for whatever choices, whatever ambitions you have. But also, you have these rights, but you have responsibilities to value that inner self, that inner ambition, so that society, your family and everybody around you can really appreciate those skills that you have as a, as a disabled person and as a person.